Hey, good morning, everybody. It is great to be with you all again. I need my cup of coffee. I don't know about you. Let's have one together, a cup of tea, whatever it is that floats your boat, because it is time for the morning briefing. All right, good morning to you all. It is great to be back again with you for another morning briefing on this glorious, beautiful Thursday morning. There is so much to cover with you all. There's great fishing going on down in northern Baja, up here in Southern California, up to Fort Bragg. We're even seeing a yellowfin tuna albacore and so much more. And God only knows what awaits us in the future because it's just been that kind of a year. I mean, we're supposedly in a La Nina type of environment where the water is cooler. It's been anything but that, as you well know. We've had this warm water along the coast, and it has produced some of the most incredible fishing that we have ever seen in Southern California, along with other phenomena like whale sharks, so many other things that really have been fascinating to watch. And as I say, what lies in the future? Who knows? But we're going to get into that and a lot more. I want to mention to you that we have room on our October Pride trip room on our October tri Pride trip. That is October the 5th through the 7th. That's our last trip of the year. You might want to join us for that. Look in the show description today. You'll be able to find out more about that trip, and that should be a really great one. And then as we start to look to the future, I'll be doing some surf fishing seminars and tutorials on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If you'd like to get on the list for that, several of you got on yesterday, just send me a text and uh, I'll put you on the list and then when I start that up, I'll uh, send you a text and let you know that we're ready to rock and roll here in the surf six, five, seven, two, two, seven, six, four, five, nine. All right, so much to cover with you, but first of all, let me get into Bass Pro Shops and thanking everybody who showed up for our in-store podcast the other day. Incidentally, that should be available to you here very, very soon. Can't wait to be able to present that to the folks who didn't show up. But Alan Rushing, he's a great guy, and he's got these two wonderful kids, Lance and Aaron. And I gotta tell you, this meant so much to me. Lance and Aaron went to the trouble of printing up the morning briefing, a little poster, and they brought it down there and asked me to sign it for them. And I gotta tell you, they, they went on about how much that meant to them. And Alan, their dad, such a great guy, he went on about it, but it meant way more to me. The fact that they took the time to print those things up, to come all the way out to Bass Pro Shops, to spend some precious time with me, man, that meant and means so much to me. And I just wanted to thank the two boys here this morning. I know they're studying hard in school right now, but I wish them many fantastic adventures and fishing trips in the future. That would be great. And one other thing, since we're on the eve of Mexican Independence Day, um, the last couple of days, we spent gathering up more clothing that we're going to take down to Mexico Lindo on January the 6th. Daryl Spivey helping out. And yesterday, we went over to my friend Joe Gallagher's Gallagher Staging, where we're warehousing all the goods that we intend to take down later on. And David Maestro, David has been on the show. Go back and watch his podcast. He's so knowledgeable, but you know, I got to tell you, he's just one of those Friedman Adventure family members that has a big heart. He showed up with boxes full of clothing and other goods, including books, so kids can learn English down there. He showed up with all that. We got together with my friend Bob Gifford, Joe Gallagher, and everybody else, and got that all together. So really, my heart goes out to you and everybody who contributes to make that possible. All right, let me get you across the border to Ensenada because there's some really good fishing going on for the Pongueros down there, seeing more and more striped marlin flushing, but yellowfin are starting to bite. Not everybody down there is getting them, but for those of you who like to cross the border and get down there, like Albert Ponce and his lovely wife, Crystal, they're down there all the time. And I'm gonna go down there with Albert here real soon and shoot a video with his favorite Pongero. I can't wait to do that. But they're getting more yellowfin, seeing more marlin. I mean, it's like old man in the sea when you're on a ponga down there and you're pulling on a big striper. And who knows what else we might see. Wahoo, blue marlin, black marlin, all conjecture at this point in time. But you just don't know what the future holds 
and it's unlike any other year because we have all this warm water in northern Baja and southern Cal and that's what makes this such an interesting game. So really nice fishing down there, a lot of Dorado, few yellowtails, some great fishing indeed going on south of the border right now. Now pop you over to this side and we're going to talk about not only San Diego base boats but LA Orange County base boats and how about Channel Island base boats like my friend Tucker McCombs on board the Endeavor. What a great two and a half day trip they just finished up with. Magnificent fishing on board the Endeavor. A buck 87 on the Dorado, 18 on the bluefin tuna, 8 yellowfin tuna. On their night bite they had three over a hundred and every single one of them was taken on the Jacks Jigs glow in the dark 16 ounce Man, that thing was hot for them, and what a great trip on board the Endeavor. I love fishing out of Ventura Harbor sport fishing because of the expertise of the crews, but also because of the customer service. I am not afraid to take a new fisherman out there because they're going to be one of those crews, whether it's the Island Spirit, the California, the Pac Don, or the Endeavor. They are going to look at a newbie and say, let me teach you how to fish, and that is a sign of a really great crew. Old Glory, only seven guys on board with them yesterday, but here's what we're talking about. Limits of yellowfin tuna and limits of Dorado. That yellowfin is starting to play a more important role, a lot of 15 to 25 pound stuff, and a lot of fish also in that range up to 50, even 60 pounds. By the way, they will bite a yo-yo iron really good. Yellowfin, something with chrome in it most of the time, works really good. Daiwa Sakanas have been working great on YFT. You get to fish heavier line like 50, 60, 40. That's what you want to do when you're fishing the iron, but they love something with a little chrome in it, and those YFT will bite it really well. Most of the fish, however, in San Diego are on the bait, and we're talking 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. We like Opsin usa.com put in fa at checkout so you've got to be paying strict attention to what's going on if the intensity of the bite is furious you know i mean multiple hookups fish boiling everywhere go to your 40 pound even heavier in some cases a bigger hook if it's not so furious it's picky it's what we call a plunker bite maybe you're in a long drift couple of fish going that's when you really got to drop it down to a little bit lighter line and pay attention to what the crew is telling you because they're out there every single day day they know a hundred times more than i know they are out there seeing it every single day so larger hook heavier line when the intensity goes up smaller hook lighter line when the intensity goes down what's the common denominator i ask you you know what do you always do correct choose a good hot bait that makes all the difference in the world. Guys will tell you that every single time. Grande yesterday. Scott Buchert's on the Grande today. He'll be filing reports. I'll get the inside dope on that. Yesterday, 30 guys, 56 Dorado 9 on the Yellow Fan Tuna. Tribute with 12 guys, 85 Dorado. Nice hit for them. Thunderbird up here out of Newport. Nice hit. 31 guys, 213 on the Dorado. Two Bluefin and a Yellow Fan Tuna. Let us not get used to this. This is magnificent enterprise yesterday. What a trip on board the Enterprise with 212 Dorado. Sport King with 62 Dorado. Victory 100 plus Dorado. City of Long Beach, 22 guys, 24 Dorado. Giving you a feel for how this bite is. If you find that right, Kel Patty, it is really good fishing right now. And it just does not seem to want to slow down. Incidentally, you see all that kelp behind me? And there's all kinds of debris. I mean, a lot of like mussels and clams and scallop shells everywhere. Courtesy, I'm thinking of Hurricane K, which created that south swell and blew all kinds of stuff up here on the beach, including a tiny dolphin that was barely alive. A woman down here, uh, I don't see her right now, but she just showed me photographs of a tiny dolphin. She tried to return it to the sea, but it didn't make it. I'm thinking like it was like a foot long and it was mixed up in the kelp down here in Surfside, California. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on right now. All right, Liberty was out. Arnold Seiko was representing the longest running sport fishing radio show in Southern California. Let's talk hookup. And he said he had a great trip to Liberty. He said the crew was phenomenal. They're out on Tanner Bank. He set a goal. I want a bluefin over 100 pounds. Did he realize the goal? You bet he did, man. And not only that, 130 pound bluefin tuna for Arnold. Lots of other fish, including Dorado, 
Arnold raved about the crew, said the Liberty crew was second to none. Really great fishing going on there. Pursuit with 108 Dorada, one yellowfin and a bluefin tuna. Really nice fishing going on for many guys. And it just does not seem to want to slow down right now. We have seen stupendous fishing and hopefully it's just going to keep grinding along and keep this great fishing up. It has been absolutely phenomenal. Now, what's in our future? Well, I mean, we got whale sharks swimming around here. Everybody's been predicting Wahoo. We've heard stories of, yes, Wahoo have been taken. No, no, they haven't. Oh my God, I had one right to gaff and lost it. So we're still waiting for one to be caught and our fingers are crossed about that because that just adds another layer of excitement to the whole thing is things are really starting to get crazy here at SoCal. And there's lighter loads on the boats, not that light. You still gotta kind of shop around to get on a boat right now. But the fall is when we have our best weather months in Southern California, so this is a great time to go. And there's less people, so perhaps you'll be able to get on a lighter load or join us on that last Pride trip. We keep it to 14 people, and man, Sean Roberts has been red hot there out of 22nd Street Landing. Go in the show description, and you'll see that trip and how to get a hold of me, or just send me a text to 657 227 and we can get you on that trip and of course line you up for next year's trips i can't believe this year we're starting to look in the rear view mirror but there's a lot of great fishing to go still so we'll keep our eyes on it down at the islands in todos santos a lot of yellowtail in there at todos off ensenada um, and guys are catching it snagging mackerel it's been a good way to make that happen we've seen some really good fishing at the coronado islands anywhere from 20 to 70 yellows if you're fishing that on a sport boat not out of the question it's been good and it's 12 to 20 pound yellowtail fly line bait works really really well as well as some surface iron fish san clemente island still quite a bit of yellowtail in there the long range guys that are fishing bluefin tuna at night get in there and they end up picking off 20 to 40 sometimes better than that on the yellowtail good calico bass fishing at times and then catalina still kind of hit and miss in terms of the island itself but there's some really great calico fishing going on for private boaters there a few yellows also wandering around channel islands the weather has come down again so they'll be back to the rock fish and who knows they've had occasional hits on sea bass and halibut still as we move closer to fall as we look uh, along the beaches um, i'll tell you redondo special yesterday they had a great trip i think 13 guys with 65 calicos but i mean they released 150 short fish so i mean you talk about action they had it on the rs yesterday and as we're on redondo and the navigante as we mentioned you just finished up a great trip limits of dorado limits of bluefin so some really nice fishing going on there elsewhere uh you know good rock fish up there out of marina del rey same thing as we look up and down the coast some rock fish some good calico fishing i mentioned that hey is that my friend valentino yeah i think it is buenos dias valentino um we've seen some really outstanding calico bass fishing we've seen also a little bit of bonita and barracuda up and down the coastal regions and good corvina fishing going on uh as you surf fish up and down the beaches some nice halibut on the lucky craft type lures chrome crocodiles also work really well and some yellowfin croaker strewn around also it is really fantastic right now will it continue i think it will and we are looking so forward to what happens in the next several hours you just never know that's what makes this game so darn much fun and so exciting we'll continue to watch it don't forget we've got freeman adventures charters for you we've got new podcasts coming up go through the library you can learn a lot sam de la torre island fishing tackle just did that torpedo sinker rig for bluefin tuna you might want to see how to rig that up check that out and of course we'll be continuing to update you with regard to the bite and have our live podcast tuesday night which we might expand into another day or so. I'd be interested to hear your comments on that. If you're really excited about another live show every week, let us know, put a comment on our YouTube channel and we'll keep you in touch. So let me bid you all a wonderful morning. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for building our statistics because we are soaring higher right now than we have for a long, long time. I wish you a great day on the water and I hope to see you really, really soon.